What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how the chain smokers made closer on FL Studio. Sorry I've been away for a, literally a month. Um, this song took me so long to remake. The project time on this, so the amount of time that I've spent on this project, it was over 40 hours. This beat was produced by the Chainsmokers, and for my Patreon supporters, I will be making the FLP and the stems available to you guys. So, let's just jump right into it. We have the intro. First off, we have so much automation going on in this song, so I won't be touching on all of this today, but we do have a low pass filter coming on top of the piano, which is just opening up as it plays these chords. And backing that up, we have the main lead sound, which I will be going through a more in-depth look later on in this video. And you can see that it slides up from G-sharp to A-sharp, which you can do inside of Silent by turning on Mono Legato and bringing up the Portamento. I'll go through this preset later on in the song when we actually come to the chorus. We also have a bell tree sample, and I've just looped that over itself, and we've automated the volume, and that comes in at a few points throughout this song. That's everything for the intro. Then we're coming into the first verse, and we have these chords coming in. I made this using two different presets on Silenth. We're using for the first one a saw wave table with seven voices and then a saw wave table with five voices, but we've taken it up one octave. Then we're automating this low pass filter using envelopes one and two. Then for effects, we have some dual mode chorus, some reverb, as well as some compression. And that's the main preset. Then this is the second preset that plays. And that's adding some more color to the sound, so all together. Then for effects, we have some Ozone 9 Exciter to add some distortion to the sound. Then we're adding some Ozone 9 Imager, and that's to stereoize the sound and make it a bit wider. Then some RC20 Retro Color to add some distortion. This is what it sounds like without and then with the effect. So with that effect on, it sounds a lot more punchy. Then we have some Fruity Flanges, some Multiband Compression, some Parametric EQ2, then finally some Fruity Chorus, and that is it. So all together. Then you already know what this channel is. We have the identical kick sample, and you can see it's identical by comparing the waveforms. If we take up the time base to 960, we can get a better look at it. Just by comparing the waveforms, you can see that it matches perfectly. The kick plays with this bass sound that I made on Silent as well. This was a really simple synth. We only have a sine wave table with one voice. Then we took up the attack on the envelope, that way that the kick doesn't interfere with the bass sound. Everything so far. Then we're adding in this snap sample. So everything all together. Then we're adding in this clap loop. Then we're coming into the pre-chorus. We have the same chord sound playing again, as well as the kick, bass sound, and the snare, but we're adding in two new things. The first one is this guitar. For this preset, we're using the Ample Guitar TC, which is modeled off the Fender Telecaster. For effects, we're using Parametric EQ2, Guitar Rig 5, and we're using the preset Arpeggio Delays, then some RC20 Retro Color for some distortion, as well as some Fruity Compressor. So without effects, and then with effects, then we're adding in this hi-hat loop. So all together. Then we're coming into the chorus. We 
we have the Beltry playing, the guitar playing, then we're adding in this string instrument. We have the piano as well. Then we're adding in this sub. And this is actually a preset that the Chainsmokers have used in other songs. You can see that they've used it in their Roses breakdown. It's the Rip It Up preset inside of Reactor and it matched really well for this song as well. So I'm pretty confident that they might've used this exact preset in Closer. And this preset sounds completely different without a low pass filter. So this is without it. Crazy. And then with it. Then I also added in a high pass filter, which comes in during the buildup. Then right before the instrumental kicks in for the drop, we have this snare loop coming in. As well as the lead preset, which has been taken up one octave. And we've also got a low pass filter opening up on this section here. So all together. For the drop, we have the kick, the bass sound, the snap, the snare, as well as the hi-hat loop. Then we're adding in the chords from the beginning, but we've taken off a lot of the filters. And inside of Silent, we've taken down the resonance and we've brought up the cutoff on filter A. So you can see that change when it comes into the drop. Next up, we have the lead preset that you hear in this song. First off, you can see that we are still making these slide notes from G sharp to A sharp, and you can do that by making the second note a little bit behind the first note, and then head into the VST and make sure that mono legato is turned on and you've brought up the portamento. Then for effects, we're adding some little alter boy and we're taking down the formant by an octave, then some OTT, which is a multi-band compressor plugin, then some fruity chorus, some fruity flanges, just adding some more color to the sound, then some ozone 9 imager, which will stereoize the sound. Then the next important plugin is Fruity Parametric EQ2, and we're just fixing up the frequencies. So this is without any effects. And then with effects. And in the song. Then I exported the sample one octave up, which sounds like this. And that plays in the mix like this. Then for the second verse, nothing is different, but when we come into the pre-chorus, we're adding in a second guitar. And that's just playing this melody. And that's actually just the lead preset from the drop, but we're adding some guitar rig to it. So it's gonna sound like this without it. And then with it. Then the second chorus and the second drop are all the same. Then we're moving into the third chorus. Here we have a much more prominent string instrument playing. And that's playing with the sub and with the piano. Then before the final drop, we have this tom coming in and we have a low pass filter, which is opening up as it plays. Then for the final drop, everything is the same, but we're adding in this string. So all together. Then as the song fades out, we have the piano as well as the lead taken up one octave and they both have a low pass filter, which is just cutting out the high end as the song finishes. So that's basically everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music playing in the background, you can check that channel in the link in the description. And if you want to get your own music playing on this channel, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway, and I will use your music in these videos. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.